Hi guys, it is said that a version of this problem was used as an Amazon interview question. A cable of 80 meters is hanging from the top of two poles that are both 50 meters from the ground. What is the distance between the two poles to one decimal place? If the center of the cable is 20 meters above the ground or 10 meters above the ground. Now to be more specific, a version of problem B was asked during an interview question the 10 meters one but we have included problem a because it's interesting mathematically can you figure it out so give this problem a try and when you're ready keep watching the video for a solution so let's solve the case of 20 meters above the ground we have the ground we have two poles of 50 meters each and we have a hanging cable that's 80 meters long the center of this cable is 20 meters from the ground and we want to solve for the distance between the two poles so the problem is solved using symmetry and convenient coordinate system the link is given in the description first we'll split up the cable into two lengths of 40 next we'll consider only the distance from the center of the cable to one of the poles we can then double that distance to get the distance between the two poles we'll also use a convenient coordinate system that's centered at the center of this hanging cable in other words, the y-axis goes at the center of the cable and the x-axis also goes so that it's just touching and tangent to the center of the cable. So we want to calculate this distance x. The general catenary equation that's tangent to the ground or the x-axis takes the following form. y equals a cos of the quantity x over a minus a. Furthermore, the top of the pole in this diagram will be at the coordinate x, 30. So we can use this point at the top of the pole to get one equation. This simplifies to be a cos of x over a is equal to 30 plus a. It will be convenient to divide both sides by a. The cos of x over a is equal to 30 plus a all over a. Now we have another equation which is using the length of half of the cable. This equation will be a times the sinh of x over a is equal to the length of 40 meters. We'll again divide both sides by a to get the sinh of x over a is equal to 40 over a. Now we can use the hyperbolic identity that the cos squared of t minus the sinh squared of t is equal to 1. So we substitute in the values. We have just arrived and we can solve for this value of a as a quadratic equation. We get that a is equal to 35 over 3. We now figure out this unknown parameter and we can then use it in our second equation with sinh to solve for the value of x. And we end up that x is approximately equal to 22.7 meters, which we will then double to get the distance between the two poles as 45.4 meters. So now how do we solve the next problem? What if the cable is only hanging 10 meters above the ground? Now suppose you try and go through the same exact method. At this point, the top of the pole will be at the point x, 40. So we'll use the same equations and we'll substitute in the new values from this particular case. Now when you substitute it into the hyperbolic identity, you get the following equation. And if you try to solve it, you run into a problem. This equation has no solution. Oh, so what's going on? Well, we're going to need to think about the problem logically. The hanging cable is supposed to be 10 meters of the ground, which is 40 meters from the top of the pole. But half of the cable is already 40 meters, in other words, the cable must be folded exactly in half and that means the two poles are coincident. They are zero meters apart. So our diagram is actually going to look like the following. We don't actually have a hanging cable between two poles. We actually have this cable is going directly from the two poles because they're exactly at the same spot. Many employees can mindlessly calculate this answer. But how many of you will think before they calculate? Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.